Hi, good day everyone. What a wonderful day today. What a wonderful day to praise Father God Elohim and His Son Yeshua Messiah. Yes, today I want to talk about something that was quite amazing when I started reading the Bible verses and stuff, stuff scripture as well. And I think a lot of us know that the Word of God said that you have not chosen you, I have chosen you, I did it. You as ambassador for Yeshua. John 15, 16 said, You did not choose me, but I chose you. I selected you so you would go and produce fruit, and your fruit will remain. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. What an awesome privilege. And 1 John 4, verse 2 and 3 that says, You know the Ruach Elohim by this. Every spirit that acknowledges the Messiah Yeshua has come in human flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Yeshua is not from God. This is the spirit of the anti-Messiah which you have heard is coming and now already is in the world. All my Bible verses is from the Tree of Life. I am what I'm using. So Yeshua, as your personal Savior and Lord, you are presenting Father God on this earth. I hope all, everyone realized that we actually are ambassadors, we actually are presenters, we actually are here to present Father God in heaven. This can be said then, for I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ, Messiah, Yeshua. For this reason I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am confident that he is able to guard that I have entrusted to him until the day. Wow, what an amazing verse. Faithful is he. Hear me out. Faithful is he who calls you. He always will bring it to pass. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 24. I want to say it again. We must always remember that by faith we are saved. By grace we are saved. Let we forget God demonstrate his own love towards us. In that while we were yet sinners, Yeshua Messiah, Christ, died for us. And scripture to know that Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, died for us. Yet, while we were sinners, yet, while we were not even knowing Him, He died for us. That was so amazing. And then further on He said, it is a privilege to be an ambassador. Ne? God is our Father. So God is the Father. And because of God is our Father, we can father the fatherless on this earth. We can be a father to someone else that needs a father. The time that you can say difficult period, difficult time lapse when Mas Christ was hanging there before of you, before of me, to be obedient to our Father for us. So what a privilege to be called children of God. What a privilege to be called ambassador for Christ. God who knows the heart of all men will see your good works. For God is not unjust so as to forget your works and the love which you have shown towards his name in having ministered and in still ministering to the saints. Hebrews 6 verse 10. Ambassadors need to understand the fullness of their roles on earth. Malachi 2 verse 7, remember as you read Malachi 2 verse 7, the word of God says, the Bible stated that the believer in Christ, in Yeshua, is a member of a royal priesthood. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, that you may proclaim Excellence, excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Wow, what amazing verse. 
So I want to bring this scripture and remember that what actually happened, what actually did Yeshua did for us. 1 Peter 2 verse 9, that this truth in the Revelations as well, and this is made us to be a kingdom, a priest to his God, to God and, and his Father. To him be the glory and the dominions forever and ever. Amen. Having established the truth, listen to the word, wonderful word in Malachi 2 7 again. Go and read it. For the lips of a priest should pre- preserve knowledge, and men should seek instruction from his mouth, his word. For this is the message of the Lord of hosts. So Father God actually wants us to go through his word and present his words to the nation, to the people, to father them through the word, to become ambassadors of his word, so the reward can come back to Christ. An ambassador of the word of God, for the lips of a priest, I'm going to read again, should preserve knowledge. What is knowledge? Spirit of knowledge. Word of God, Holy Spirit as well. So the Word of God teaches us about the Holy Spirit. The Word of God is Yeshua Messiah. John 1, go and read it. Israel is a fine example of the Old Testament. He was one of the sons of Aaron, a priestly line. His name signified helper, which is to be presented of God. For Ezra has sent his heart to study the law of the Lord and practice it, Ezra 7 verse 10. Ezra was laying down his time, his life, to study the word of God the Father. Why don't we do it as well? The word says means to establish, fix, prepare, or to apply. Literally, it means to eat up his word, to live his word, to sleep his word, to concentrate on his word all day. Also, another thing is to, to get an imagination of how powerful the word actually is that the word was creating the world. Wow. Because the word of God says, Barashik Baracha Adunai. Barashit Bara Adunai Aleftaf. So in the beginning, God created the word before he created heaven and earth. So what amazing knowing this. As an ambassador, or a spokesperson, or a presenter, you are to do the same. Paul tells you to be vigilant present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed. Handling accurate by the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. You are advised to set your mind on the things above, not on the things on the earth. That was on earth. Cleanse the verse 2. And this should be done not by way of eye service, men pleasers, but as slaves of Christ. Romans 6, 22, amazing scripture. But now I have been set free from your sinful life and I have become enslaved to God. You have your fruits result in holiness and the outcome is eternal life. Wow, thank you, Yeshua. Doing the word of God from the heart. Ephesians 6, 6, go and read it. The best teacher is one who always is a student and always learning. Notice this knowledge is not only in your head, but also in your lips, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. For you present knowledge, you're a presenter, you preserve the knowledge. It must be on the tip of your tongue, scripture, Bible verses, Bible worshipping. Yeshua must be in your heart always. It must always be, be ready to make a difference in anyone's lives not to have a defense in it. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 said, And let the example of an ambassador for Father, and be like Yeshua, as the Word teaches us in 1 Corinthians 13. Go and read, all of us know. 1 Corinthians 13 is about the love. What is God? He is the love. Matthew 5 16, In the same way, let your light shine before men, so they may see the good works and glorify you your Father in heaven. What an amazing privilege that we have to be ambassadors for Christ, for Yeshua. That we can present Him on earth. That we can be Moses or a David 
or a Samuel or Elijah, that we can be someone that don't need to be qualified because qual Father God already equipped us with qualifications. His Son, the blood of the Lamb. He haven't called the equipped, He equipped the calling. So let us come into our calling today again in this time of shutdown, in this time of lockdown, that we can come and say, Father God, wow, you are amazing. You are the great God, Jehovah. You are the one that is and was and always will be. You are the one that I want to worship. You are the one that I want to praise. So let us come and lay our lives down again and say, Father God, here I am. I want to present myself to this world to show them who you are. Thank you, Father God, that we can come in your presence today and say glory to the King of Kings. Let us come and just lay our lives down again, our time down again. What are you doing, what are you doing with your time? How do you spend your time? How do you spend time with family? How do you spend time with the Word? How do you spend time in Him, in Yeshua? His Word says, we are in Christ. We are in Christ. The moment we are in Christ, in Yeshua, how do you spend time with Him, with Father God, with His Son Yeshua, and with Holy Spirit? How do you spend time? How do you become an ambassador of Christ? Is your, your Bible reading 10 minutes in the morning and a little prayer when you go to sleep? Oh, this is, how, is, is this how we need to present Father God? I don't think so. We need to be ambassadors on this place. As the Word of God says, you need to become addicted to Him, enslaved with Him, enslaved with His presence, enslaved with His Word, enslaved with His worship, enslaved. You must eat and sleep. Eat and sleep Christ. Eat and sleep Yeshua. This, this is ambassador. This is what is a presenter. How can a guy be called father if he hasn't got children? But he can be called father if he fathers someone else. Then he can become. Take the fathership, the kinship, the childship back and present Father God on this earth. Let us be example for those ones sitting with fear, with anxiety, with shame, with guilt. Let us come into Christ, Messiah, and say, Yeshua, you are awesome and amazing. I am here to present you. I am here because you are the highest authority. Thank you, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we can come in your presence and present to this earth who you are. Let us come and show the people through our lives who you are. Let us be an example of your word to show the people. Teach us or taught us. Teach us your ways. Teach us how to become an example for you on this place, on this earth in hardship, in joy, in laughter, in various trials, in lockdown, shutdown, financial crises. Let us come and be a presenter on this earth. Let us come and show the world that we belong to the Messiah, that we are in the Messiah, that the Messiah is part of us, that this word is part of us. We're going to learn some scriptures on the tip of your tongue. There's a lot of Bible verses I was, I was saying to you, go and read them as well. Go and see who is Christ as a messenger. Go and teach people who is Christ. But first, go and learn about Him more and more. The Word of God said that He's, he's living water in deserts. Go and read Jeremiah 43, verse 19. Look now, it will spring forth. Will you not notice it? Will you not see it? That he can make rivers in desert places. He can open up places or open up stuff or things or, or positions that you haven't even known can be existed. He can do stuff. Father God can open realities in your life that you have never known before. He can open up gates in your life that you have never even known that is existing. He will open up stuff for you. The moment the word of God said, Ask of me and I will show you hidden secrets you do not know. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Don't ever look. I want to make you hungry for his word. To become part of his word. To engage in his word. I want to, in this time, if there's need, trouble, financial difficulties, 
marital difficulties, relationship difficulties, or just loneliness, what the situation or the case may be, I want to challenge you to come back to Christ, come back to Yeshua, come become involved with Him. Let He become your funnel, become in line with His Word, become His Word. Not normal to hear His Word, but come in His Word, but become part of His Word, become part of Him, become part of His, his knowledge, His understanding, become part of His Spirit, His Holy Spirit, become part of that what He wants us to do, to learn, to teach, to accept. Yes, there will be various, various trials. Yes, there will be Pharisees, study seers. There will be people judging or, or hurting or stuff like that. But show them who is Christ in you. You in Christ. Who are the Word in you, you in the Word. Show them with love. What's the first character that we can realize from Christ, from Yeshua? Love. What it was what was his, his last of last of last of last last of last words of love? Father forgive them, they don't know what they do. Forgive them, they don't know what they do. Can you forgive someone that's hurting you? Can you be ambassador for from Yeshua or for Christ if someone is hurting you? Can you forgive them? Can you say I'm setting you free? Past will be past. Let's go into the presence. Let's go into new new life, new fruits. Can you, in this stage, in this day, forgive the ones that spoke bad against you? Can you forgive the ones that's accusing you? Can you forgive the ones that's actually laughing at you? Can you forgive the ones that's probably stealing money from you? Can you forgive the ones that's causing harm to you? Can you bless them abundantly? So I want to do something different on prayers. I want to go along with, I was downloading, downloading some stuff here, and it was quite amazing what I'm seeing here, um, of actually what Father God's powerful scripture actually is. And it was quite amazing. I was reading a, a, a prayer here. Many times when God isn't changing your circumstances, it's because He's mostly concerned with changing you within the circumstances, your character, your inner strength, your most inner being, your integrity matters to him because they are everlasting qualities. You also also mention the wisdom, the strength, the maturity that grows within you. You are all things that he desires. He is the sustainer of your life. Know that there's a purpose, sometimes in pain, because Father God is in control. God is saying today that everything will work out, just be still. Everything will work out, because He is in control. He said, He even know the medical report of your heart. He know the financial report, situation. He know the outcome of who you are and who you're going to be. He even know your dreams that you have. And he will never fail you. He never fail you when he died even. When he was hanging there, busy dying, his heart was longing for you. God's plan is always the best, although it sometimes seems foolish to us. But as the word of God says, his plans is not our plans. He's out of dimensions, he's out of time. He knows the best for us. If God brings you to a place that you think you cannot come out. He will take you through that place because he put you there for a purpose. Sometimes the enemy come and fool you, bring you in position or a place that you don't need to be. But because of Father God, will, as he words it, everything will, will work out for the good. He will be there in your presence to guide you. He will be there to listen to you in the silence. God doesn't give up on you as people do. But as Father God shows us, that even on death couldn't stop from loving us. Wow, that's amazing. Faith doesn't not make things easy, it makes things possible. Luke 1 verse 37, wow. Pray more, worry less, Matthew 6, 34. God is within everything, wow. So if there's circumstances you cannot handle, God is already there. Trust in the Lord 
with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6. So I want to bring some clarity to you today. Who do you present on earth? Who do people see in you? What do people see in you? How often do people see Yeshua in you? Yes, so also what was quite amazing quote. Prayer is the oxygen of your soul. Don't go without it. Amen. God gave us mouths that are close and ears that don't always need to hear. But He gave us hearts of joy and laughter. It's all quotes have been put here. Consider the fact that Father God may be closer than what you ever know. He will be closer than a door standing in front of. Because you must always remember where God said, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, interceding for us day and night. So He's busy. We're always on His mind. So let's change the, the circumstances that we can say, Father God, you are always on our mind. Yeshua, you are the King of glory. You are my direction. You are my path. You are my strength. You are my control. You are my provision. You are my growing faith. You are my confidence. You are my open trust. You are my thankfulness. You are the one that restores my relationships. Let's go and ask Father God this. So thank you, Father God, that we can just come in your presence today and glorify your name. Our Father, I want to come and say, come into your presence. You're also welcome here. Father God, we want to come and take Romans 8, verse 15, and say, thank you, Father God, and call you our Father. Your word says that you have adopted us. So thank you for bringing us in a pure bloodline. Thank you that we have the privilege to say, Abba, Father, that we can call you Dad. Thank you that we can become ambassadors, presenters for you, to present you on this earth, in this lockdown, where people may have fear because of finances, maybe because of marital problems, irritation, anxiety, shame, guilt. Let us be a father to them. Thank you, Father God, that you sent Yeshua Messiah, your Son, to be everything in our lives. As John 14 verse 6 says, you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, the King of glory. So thank you, Father God, that we can come into your presence today and glorify your name. Thank you that you can use John 14, 21. He who has my commandments and keep them is the one that I will reveal myself to him. Amen. Thank you, Yeshua, that we can come and take your word and take it into our soul's dimensions. Help us to become in love with you, Yeshua Mosheel. Help us to become in love with your word. Help us to become in love of your identity, of your heart's desire. Help us to become in love with you, of who you are. Reveal yourself to us, as your word says, and I will come and reveal myself to you. John 14. Thank you that you can use scripture to look at your heart's desires in Moses. How you will use one man to change a lot of things. Open up the sea. Break down the strongest army in the world. How you use one youngster David tear down the whole army of the Philistines because the power in him take down Goliath. Let us come and be ambassadors today, Father God. Show us today that we can become Davids to break down the Goliath standing in our way. That we can come and break down anything that's standing in our way. Your word says in Isaiah 41 verse 15, I'll make a threshing sledge. A threshing sledge with new double-edged spikes. That you will roll down the mountains and the wind will blow it away. Let us come into your presence today, Yeshua, and ask that whatever is holding us back to come into your presence, whatever is holding us back to become your ambassador, whatever is, is stopping us, blocking us, take it away from us so we can come into your presence. Let your glory fall this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Ruach Hadesh, that we can come into your worship. 
and glorify your name. Because as your word says, in your praise, in our praises, you will be there. So thank you that we can worship you, Yeshua Messiah. That we can glorify you, Yeshua Messiah, for you are our King of Kings, King of Glory. Thank you, Yeshua Messiah, that we can use the scripture as your word says in 1 John 4, verse 2 and 3. Test the spirits herein, and only the Spirit of God the Father can acknowledge that Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, came in the flesh for me. Because if you cannot do and say that the Word of God said it's the spirit of Antichrist. Father God, help us, show us to examine ourselves. And if there's anything that is not from you, take it away, take it out. Thank you that you don't think of the past, but think of the future, of this present time. Thank you that we don't need to focus on stuff on earth, but on spiritually, as your word says, and the scriptures that we have. Teach us more to become like you, that is spiritual being and not flesh. But thank you that you have became flesh for us, so that we can acknowledge who you are, so that we can live by you, through you, in you, through your word. But thank you that you did that it is more that we can know and learn from you, much more. Thank you that we can every day cast our crowns in front of you and say, you alone are worthy, you alone are holy, you are the one that is and was and always will be. Abba Father, Elohim, God the Father. Thank you, Yeshua Messiah, that we can just come into onto our knees today and say, Yeshua, here I am. Here I am, change me to glorify your name. Change me to show the world that I am your ambassador. I will be a presenter for you on this earth. Here I am. And thank you, Father God, that we have the privilege today to know you as Father God, as Dad. That we have the privilege to know your only son, your only son that you have sent to be born in a virgin, to become flesh for us. Thank you that we can acknowledge Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, that have died for us, that you have rose up, that the grave is empty. Thank you that you have risen up to heaven to prepare ways for us, a way for us. And if this preparation is finished, you will come back and come and take us where you are. Thank you that you can use John 17 as a prayer that you have prayed. And thank you that you have sent Holy Spirit, Ruach Hadesh, to help us, to guide us, to comfort us, to counsel us. And thank you that we can come in the name of Yeshua Messiah and bless each and every one who is listening to the sermon. Thank you that we can bless them abundantly, as your word says in number 6, verse 24, 25 and 26, that your word says that you have said to Moses, and to uh, Moses, that Moses must say to Aaron, this is how you must bless the sons of Israel. That we use that blessing, Father God, today, that Father God's face will shine upon you. He will be gracious to you. He will grant us shalom. And thank you, Yeshua, that we can come in your presence today and say thank you. Thank you that we are your presenters on earth. Thank you that we have the privilege to come in your presence. In the name of Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So I want to bless each and everyone today, listening to the sermon. And like I said, I want to challenge you. Start reading scripture. Start eating up that scripture as seed, as word, as bread, to become more involved into Christ, into Yeshua. Become more involved in the Word. Become more of the Word. Let us start living the Word in us. So we can come and hide in the presence of the Almighty One. That we can come and hide in Yeshua Messiah. All glory will come to Him. Praises and honor. So you must be blessed. And thank you for listening to the sermon. And like I said, let us make a difference in this world. Let us give love to the one that needs love. Let us father the one that needs father. Let us give a hug to the one that needs hugs. Let's give a word or a prophetic word for someone that's in need. Or just let's pray for someone that needs prayers. You must be blessed and abundantly. God bless you. God loves you. And all of us loves you. And everyone in this on this learning hearing the sermon. And thank you, Yeshua Messiah, for each and every one of us that you are showing us new new things. As your word says, hidden secrets that we do not know. Thank you very much. Be blessed. In the name of Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of Glory.